And the other thing is, what I would like to see is, in terms of design, if you would push the shapes even more. So you did already a really good job here on um, trying to add these costumes, right? I can see, I can see the reference for this leather jacket. I can see the reference for this pants. But what I would love to see is if you would step more outside of the more typical stuff and not thinking about um, leaving the realistic realm of things, but still try to push stuff. So let's say, how about a collar, which is like shape wise, really big, you know? Yeah. And then like, okay, you gave him this nice angled shoulders. So maybe just making these even stronger and then Thinking about okay maybe just making the arms a little bit longer and then here you have a nice asymmetry so he has this gun over here then here also again like maybe you can create a cool layering effect here mm -hmm. so something which is like a repetitive pattern does he have a breathing mask or not and if so maybe the breathing mask has also the repetitive one. so thinking about maybe they have some metal parts on the boots because when gravity is unlocked or something, they need to be more heavy or they have maybe some sort of technology. You have to keep in mind that the, you need to give yourself the possibility to bring out enough clarity to say, okay, we could now just design the shoes on the side. Okay, so imagining you give your design to someone else who is, needs to build this in 3D. So you will give the sketch to someone and then he comes back and like, okay, what is this? And what is this? Is this on the side? Is this in the front? Is this metal? Is this leather? Is this cloth? Um, you made some pipes here. Are these pipes connected to the hands? Is this functionality? Like we need to be able to explain what we had in mind just with the drawing without actually explaining it. So it yeah. needs to be completely understandable. Um, so this is, one thing, the other thing is because we're concept artists and we want to make cool concepts, we want to think about ideas behind everything. So what I like to do, um, especially when it comes to costume design, I want to think that every part, everything they wear has a story. So maybe the name of this dude here, I don't know, is Jack. He decided one day to buy these boots because Maybe on his first pirate ship, he had boots without gravity tech or gravity, like these heavy parts on the boots. And no one told him. So he almost died because they would fight and then the, the shit got hit and gravity got unlocked and he was the only one floating and he almost died because he was floating up to space. And then someone rescued him. And then he, when he came back, he directly decided, I need to buy these shoes <laughs> because I don't want to die next time. So um, I try to, to imagine this with every little piece the character is wearing. And that is not only for the boots, this is for everything. You did that already with the, with the radio thing for the captain. It tells a story, right? So yeah. this is what we want. And we also want to make the viewer more interested in the design itself. There should be some sort of natural balance of visual interest, but also interest in terms of the backstory. That helps a lot. That's awesome. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. If you also want to get mentored by me, make sure to check out my website, janoschmenesart.zone and apply for the mentorship. Otherwise, see you in the next video. Take care. Ciao, ciao.